si bwana pewe sifa huku sio mungu wa upagusi vile abraham aliomba akasikiwa na mungu hata wewe ukiomba mungu atakusikia the same same way bwana pewe sifa because god does not show favoritism things that happen in the time of apostles they can still happen today they are still happening today bwana pewe sifa the revival that was there during the days of the apostle it can happen today and it is still happen bwana pewe sifa because god is in the business of doing miracles in the in the midst of his people kwa hivyo what is needed is for us to equip ourselves with what is necessary we equip ourselves with faith we equip ourselves with prayer we equip ourselves with hope we equip ourselves with integrity and honesty what a first thing so that we can be able to win the battle an example has been set of those people the great servant of god people like Uh, Stephen, he was stoned to death. Actually, the Bible says he was the first martyr. Bwana pewe sifa. Ni yule mtu wa kwanza kukufa kwa sababu ya imani. The first person, Stefano, alikufa kwa sababu ya imani. Atakana kwa ba alipigwa na mawe kwa sababu it may reach to that point. Tunajua ya haraka bwana pewe sifa kwa sababu watu wale tunahubiria isipokuwa mtu wa ndio kutaka kujipotesa. Huyo mtu lazima one day amesikia injili bwana apewe sifa. Ukikutana na mtu tuseme 5 years. Ah okay, wacha tuseme 9 years. Kenya, upatane na mtu wa 9 years, haiwezi kuwa unamhubiria for the first time. Lazima amesikia hii injili bwana apewe sifa. But there are other countries like Arabic countries where by you cannot preach this gospel. Huko sasa unaenda kuhubiri unasema because the Bible says in Matthew 11:28 No is it is it, ma, ma, what was Matthew let me confirm uh where by the bible yeah it is a uh, Matthew 28 sorry Matthew 28 if you read verse 19 the bible says go therefore to all nations bana persipa go oh, go therefore to all nations baptizing them in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit bana persipa So hatuja ito hapa Kenya tu. Hatuja ito hapa Kingero na Wagige na Ukofi na Botefa bwana pewe sifa. Tumeitwa mambo makubwa bwana pewe sifa. Tumeitwa mataifa nation. Tumeitwa mataifa. And therefore you may find yourself going to preach in Arabic country. Huko ukienda huenda na Biblia kama hii kwa sababu the first thing it is illegal. It is illegal huko kukua na Bible. So most of most of the time watu wanaenda na self una soft copies kuna wengine wanaenda na karatasi kama hizi wanaenda wameficha bwana pewe sifa and you may also lose your life as a christian we should be able to start whatever it may cost we are going to start the farm for us to win souls we are going to start the farm because we are going to preach this gospel no matter what bwana pewe sifa sad no the other side pastor sema in a doubt of season you should preach god always wakati kuna faa na wakati ambao hakufai kuna wakati mwingine kunaweza kuwa hakufai bwana pewe sifa umeenda mahali kuhubiri na unajulikana ya kwamba ukipatikana utafukwa especially in the those countries that they have islamic or sharia law ukienda huko upatikane ati ni kuhubiri unahubiri unafukwa but there are people who have determined in their heart no matter what it may cost We are going to those people because the Bible say this is the great commission go to all nation baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit Now ukisoma hapo chini inasema I will be with you till the end of ages Kwa hivyo ukienda pale unajua ya kwamba hata kana kwamba ninaenda kwa hawa mataifa na nitakutana na upinzani Mungu mwenyewe that is a promise I will be with you till the end of ages Hata kana kwamba utaenda kuharibike it may even cost your life to some extent this physical death it may happen this physical this body we see you may be killed but the bible says do not fear those people who may kill this flesh bwana persipa how are what to do anaweza kuwa hii mwili tunaona usiwaogope yule mtu ambaye unaweza kuogopa ni yule anaweza kuwa huu mwili na afanye usiende bikuni bwana persipa lakini kama itagharimu even if it shall cost our life 
as a disciple, we should, we should know that we are soldiers. And that is what we have been told 